We are back. It's Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. I am Roland Green. I would say it's safe to assume you're either an Upchurch fan or you stumbled across it because you like this song and you're like, hey, what's this goofball got to say? No. It depends on the, the reaction. Depends on the song. See how many times they're going to reference weed. Yeah. We used to lock ourselves in your room, burning incense to cover up the smell of the marijuana. Ha! 16 seconds in. Ah, uh, so not that uh, we openly, well, we don't. Uh, all opinions are for entertainment purposes only, just in case this is your first time here. Loveless by Upchurch and Robert James. But some mornings, we just like to fuel the imaginary bus that we are all cruising on. It has a smoking lounge in the back. There's a playlist, Awake and Bake. That's where you will find uh, these or a country rap playlist down there. Doesn't have a creative, well, I used to have a creative name, but I was informed my creative names were not helping me. Because it didn't say reaction anywhere in the book. <laughs> that, that's me. I got to set up a playlist of reactions, but then I'm not going to call them reactions. I called it something like sip and shine. Smoking weed or something like that. Uh, point being, this is not an endorsement for green aromatherapy. Uh, where you might need some incense to cover up the smell. Uh, the, lo the lounge isn't locked, so you could just come right in. Uh, uh, but yeah, some mornings it's really just about starting off the day with a smile. 16 seconds in will do that to a, to a gentleman. Yeah. Used to lock ourselves in your room, burning incense to cover up the smell of the marijuana from your mama. You had me burning up every back road, feeding my gas tank every last one of my dollars. And I wasn't bothered. I wasn't bothered. When was this? 2017. Holy crap, you think you were spending money on gas then, bro? Shit. Welcome to the future. Oh, I know I'm not going to get A. It's been a while. Usually I've just been listening. 351. That's a. Isn't that a Ford engine? Sure. Sure. All right. Wasn't there like a 351 Cleveland, too? Or is it my pull something out? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I, I knew a few guys who liked cars. Sorry. Yeah. So if you're new to the channel, there you go. This is the experience. I have no clue. Something's going to be said. And we're going to get lost in the minor details. I assume the song is good. I don't have any Upchurch songs that I've had. There's nothing he's ever done that I don't like. I have one at the bottom of the list. That's it. I have the one I like the least and everything else. But there's not even one I don't like yet. Hell, I even like this shit when he's rapping in his singing in his weird space suit. I thought that was cool. I don't think it was rap. It was another reason to smoke weed. Every last one of my dollars and I wasn't bothered. I wasn't bothered. Them miles on that three. Crazy 
You know why it caught me? Because he's fucking bow tying it always. He's always referencing the Chevy. So I'm like, then he just throws the Ford engine in there. Actually, I think he just, uh, hell, he, he referenced old Toyotas in one of the newest songs we just listened to. So not New West, New West for us. So never mind. It doesn't appear that he's too branded when it comes to engines, cars, trucks. It's whatever works in the rap, I guess. And then he's just a motorhead. I think he's just a car-loving, crazy country guy. Kind of. Strong going out in flames of glory. And now you're like, hot damn. Now he's riding around with the top down. Made a big name in a small town. Now he's got another girl's hands on his now. Hot damn. Now he's riding around. It's a line like that. So, I mean, so many people. So this is, I, I think, so I think you can have success, but you can balance the desire for success with a humility or, or uh, just a simple like. It's like everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to find love. But when you put that shit together, get ready for the TV show. That red dot's blinking. Good luck being yourself. I get anxiety at these labels in Nashville myself. And I'll be sitting at a meeting till the business talk is faded. Just wishing I could be with you in a day well wasted. But <sighs> See, I believe wholeheartedly that it's a very a certain type of individual who can admit that. Um too many people who strive for the top constantly engage in the I gotta get to the top rhetoric, okay? I'm not saying up church don't talk about being the best. Fuck yeah, he always does. But then right there, he's like, what I'd rather be doing is spending a well-spent day of nothing with you. And uh, without having the ability to unplug and uh, you don't got to take my, my word for this. This is honestly, you can, uh, shit, real life keeps moving, doesn't it? Uh, a bunch of people have done this, right? They'll, they, uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, I could use that because, you know, we got, um, we got dog beard. Who knew we were getting dog beard this morning? Holy shit, that really stole my whole... Oh, being able to unplug. And uh, you can look this up really easy. Um, there's been people, uh, influencers, right? Or people who are real uh, prominent in the public eye. They might not be influencing, but they're just, they're out there. And they unplug from society. They go and they take a month sabbatical turn it all off when they come back they're a little different and then they they realize the bombardment the cacophony of sounds images ideas all making you nuts and if you can't find a little joy in sitting by the edge of a bubbling brook or you know a nice little overlook on a river or some backwoods path, whatever. 
I mean, he's only been telling us that shit since every song we listen to, so pick your location. But yeah, while you're striving to get to the top, maybe it's okay to unplug and decomp, de decompress. Maybe. But what the fuck do I know? Nothing! These sold out shows are calling my name and they won't in the encore. But all I want is you laughing, dropping a joint in the and floor. Now you're like, God damn. God damn. Now he's riding around with the top down. Yeah. Made a big name in a small town. Damn. Now he's got another girl's hands on his now. Hot damn. damn. Now he's riding around with the top down. down. Made a big name in a small town. Damn. Now he's got another girl's hands on So we've been talking about stands, standing, white knighting for your favorite artists and uh, some of the, the negative uh, internet uh, culture creations. Now by its very existence, we create some weird, weird subculture groups, sub subgroups that uh, have uh, weird behaviors. And I can think about this, so I bet there's a, infatuation thing out there people sure they're in love project the ideas of that out there but then they don't get it back and they feel jilted and they like uh, let down whatever um, and uh, the problem is if you created it all do you create a scenario project yourself out into that scenario it doesn't turn out the way you want and then come to fully realize that uh, you've been wronged when you were the only one in the relationship to begin with I think about that as I'm uh, doing Miss Fabian uh, and it's a it's a thought thing it's not you know there's no secret love letters to uh, anyone out there I I think it's just the idea of it all that intrigues me. That, um, wow, it's like the apps. One cute picture and a profile. If you could figure out your entire life from basically a, a profile detail and a pic in an age of filters and plagiarism, more power to you. But I don't think it's that easy. I'm riding with the top down. Made a big name in a small town. Now he's got another girl's head on his now. Love ain't always pleasing. Love can be deceiving. You give your heart and then they let it go. But it's something you believe in. You know that. Oh, it's kind of like fire and ice up church and Robert James fucking dynamite. Every minute that we write is an image we bring to life, trying to make it about the shadows. All we got is candlelight. Yeah, we're freaky like Houdini coming out at night. Yeah, we're sneaky, still you love and make it a drug you like, baby. You're fresher than the harvest. You walk by my head spinning, getting nauseous. I'm on cloud down so high, I start coughing. Together we're a promise, more solid than the motherfucking ground. So stand on it, be the target, be the smartest. I love you, baby, since the day we started. Love ain't always pleasing. Love can be deceiving. You give your heart and then they let it go. But it's so. Ah, bullshit. We're going back. So sometimes you get you got like a something something with a feature from someone someone, and uh, they they each stand out. But I mean I don't. If he wrote, his it goes it's not like he wrote himself right into an Upchurch song, which is fucking and that's cool. And so you know, I don't know if you. Uh, what am I? How am I trying to say this? Sometimes you could just tell they're featured in there. It's uh, it belongs, but it's different. Or it's about themselves and it's just, 
injected into a song, you know, third bar all about, uh, you know, the featured uh, rapper flexing. Uh, the rest of the song was about something else. Um, this just fit right in there. Like is like, like he wrote, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm don't know shit. I probably don't know shit, but it still feels like it really will. The, the bars are well written into an upchurch song. And you give your heart and then they let it go. Like fire and ice up church and Robert James fucking dynamite. Every minute that we write is an image we bring to life, trying to make it about the shadows. All we got is candlelight. Yeah, we're freaky like Houdini coming out at night. Yeah, we're sneaky, still you love and make it a drug you like, baby. You're fresher than the harvest. You walk by my head spinning, getting nauseous. I'm on cloud nine, so high, I start coughing. Together we're a promise, more solid than the motherfucking ground. So stand on it, be the target. The smartest, I love you, baby, since the day we started. Love ain't always pleasing. Love can be deceiving. You give your heart and then they let it go. Oh, bad timing. Now I admit it could be just that harvest line, too. The Houdini. I, I still think it did. I think it fit in really there. But now second time through, I'm like, well... Maybe it was the harvest line that made me think of bringing in the crops. I don't know. It could be a combination of <clears throat> yeah. it's been a this ain't coming out till tomorrow, but we're doing it today. The bus by bus ride's been long. I'm here to say. Can't be deceiving You give your heart and then they let it go But it's something you believe in oh. You know that feeling When you just let it take control oh. We used to lock ourselves in your room Burning incense to cover up the smell of the marijuana From your mama you had me burning up every back row, feeding my gas tank every last one of my dollars. But I wasn't bothered. <laughs> Them miles on that 351 added up to a million crazy nights of fun. We were out of control and going out in flames of glory. And now you're like, I oh, damn. damn. Now he's riding around with the top down. Oh, damn. Made a big name in a small town. Now he's got another girl's hands on his now. Hot damn. damn. Now he's riding around with the top down. Oh, damn. Made a big name in a small town. Oh, now he's got another girl's hand on his now. Love ain't always pleasing. Love can be deceiving. You give your heart and then they let it go. But it's something you believe in. You know that. Oh, oh. Mm. oh, wow. Okay. Well, wow, really no spot. It's, it's the same spot everywhere. Uh, Loveless, Upchurch, Robert James. I actually, enough said. Oh, yeah, 20 minutes. I obviously liked it. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Have a good morning.